It was a long time ago. I started advertising in 1985 as a sales cadet at the Western Mail newspaper and back then there were there were still five Metro newspapers in WA. I started in London working in television for ITV about 20 years ago now. The biggest changes that have happened is the absolute fragmentation of media since then. Um, back then you had the choice of kind of two terrestrial TV, free, to, free TV channels. Now you have hundreds of channels, hundreds of online options, hundreds of digital out of home options. So the real um, ability of marketers to target um, niche groups now has been the biggest change. Well, I started in the radio industry in December 1988. Back in 1988, it was always about just selling spots and dots. But now what we're seeing today, it's very much about client integration, utilizing our on-air on -air talent as, as part of the process. I started in the industry about 40 years ago, which is kind of frightening actually when I think about it now. And my first job was at McCann Erickson London in, on the international team. Um, I started in 2005 um, in, in digital in Sydney and I've uh, only just recently made the change to radio. The biggest changes have really happened in about the last 10 years uh, and I see that's down to media fragmentation and obviously digital technology. I started in the industry over 20 years ago and I think there's no doubt that we've seen some significant changes across that time. I think definitely the change to digital and the changing technology is one of the, the biggest changes that we've seen, but also the ability to track and, and how we measure campaign effectiveness. The biggest change has been digital and it's ever constant evolution. Uh, I think you know now it doesn't matter what medium you are selling and what you own, um, it's very important that digital complements whatever that core product is. It's not really that much of a people business anymore. You know, technology has kind of taken a lot of the peopleness out of it. Whether it's TV, out of home, uh, press, everyone has digital assets now as part of that. So for radio, I think um, podcasts are probably the next big thing for us.